Hello, I thought I would do a really quick <clears throat> little demonstration or walk you through how I modified the Witchling Academy Tarot, which I very, very much enjoy. I think it's really playful and fun. But it could have been just a little bit better, I thought. So one of the problems that I had seen people discussing on YouTube and in Facebook groups was this box. So what happened is that this box in this bit here, it comes unglued, which means that the cards can slip underneath. So I solved that problem by disassembling the box and then putting a ribbon in, gluing that down, and then gluing this box back together. So now there's no way for the cards to slide underneath. I can just put them in here and they won't slide under. They're all sitting nice and neat in this little little box. And then of course the ribbon helps me get them out. So I like the ribbons in other boxes and it was easy enough to add this to this one. You can still see the fun art underneath. And the next thing I did was it has this fun little congratulations on your acceptance here which is also a, a bit of a sleeve that this book stays in. But again, this was also loose. So I took that off and I re-glued that so it wouldn't slide around so much. Then I took my book and I used what for me are the colors that I use to note major and then the different suits. So my majors are purple and then for fire I use orange for water I use blue, for earth I use green, and for air I use red. In this book, the court cards are a separate thing, so I gave them uh, a yellow color value. You can see that in there. That way it's easy for me to find the card if I want to look it up. This book is definitely worth a read through though, because it has a really fun story. So this way I can keep everything together. It's not messed up. And then I took my cards and I edged them in this pink color and it was just a Crayola marker. Do not use the water um, the watercolor ones that you can wash off because that will bleed onto your hands. You have to get the permanent kind otherwise it'll just end up on your hands. This is a really fun deck. I love it very much and I enjoy using it when I'm in sort of a, a playful mood and I just want a very standard RWS uh, reading with a fun story overlay. So that's how I keep it in this box which lets me have this super fun thing on my bookshelf and that's it. It's not that hard to do. It'll take you a couple of hours. And if you have this deck, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I do.